Hi everybody, my name is Ben Betts, uh, I'm from Curator, and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some of the screens that you'll find uh, inside the sort of Curator experience. Um, so when you first log in, uh, you're going to come to this screen, which we call the, the Museum Overview screen. Um, here you'll be able to select different uh, experiences that you're enrolled to. So I'm enrolled to two different ones at the moment. Um, the first one is a guide to getting started in business. There's a bit of some information here about what this uh, what this museum is, and you'll see that that changes when you go to the other one. Uh, on the right hand side here, you'll see uh, an activity stream. So this is just a bit about what's been going on. So we'll see that there's been some other activities. Some people have been commenting. Uh, somebody's added a new guide and some other things here. You can click directly on those to 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 jump to it, uh, or you can use the Enter Museum button and enter museum this is what we call the the curators gallery so this is where you're going to do most of your work the curator is represented by in my case this little dinosaur avatar but in most cases it will be either the instructors picture or maybe the organizations picture this is where you're going to do most of your work here we see objects that I can click on and view and see more about we'll do more on that elsewhere but this is one of the most important screens you can zoom in zoom out do whatever you want. If ever you get a little bit lost though, this button down in the bottom left hand corner here, this is your, your savior. This button will always take you back to the curator and their museum. So you can click that to reset the view. You'll always end up here. What you can also do though is see other people in the museum. So you're not just restricted to, to viewing what the instructor thinks. You can see what your peers think. And there's a number of ways you can do that. One way is you can click on the curator's icon in the middle. If you do that, then you're going to return to what we call peer view and these are just some of the other people that are on my class here now in some cases they'll have a picture that's somebody that's uploaded their picture already in other cases you might just see their initials uh, and that's because they haven't yet uploaded a picture uh, I'd encourage them to, to go ahead and do that you can click on a person to go and visit them you can click view objects in the same way that you would on the previous screen and for instance if I click view objects on the curator guy here then I end up back in the curators gallery you can also skip around using the start button and the options there. So view curator's gallery is there. View my gallery is there. So that's your personal gallery of information. And then view the peer view. If I just click view my gallery, then this is everything I've got in my collection. So I just have one option at the moment in there. Uh, but later on, maybe I'll have a few more. If I'm feeling a bit lost, I can always hit the curator icon. And then I'm back into the curator's gallery. To get back to the original museum overview page, you've got two options. You could either hit the change museum, uh, which most people will. You can actually also double click on the background. And if you do that, then up comes this screen and you're back where we started.